Well, it's the middle of uh, fall, October, getting real close to winter. You're looking at some of my gourds. But this film is on helping children go around the law. Not to break it, but to go around the law. Many laws I have to do that with, that I disagree with. I go around them. For example, though, for children, they are the poorest people on earth. And there are very op few options for them to make money. Yes, they can beg for money. But begging is addictive. And it's something that is very hard to break. And it teaches children that the world owes them a living. It teaches that. You can look at the welfare lines that climb every year and the food stamps that are continually increasing the people that are taking them some 50 million plus now with that in mind though I teach a different direction another thing that they do then children is steal that's the last thing a child should do that first off they're an amateur at it the two million cops will gladly and very easily catch them and they will throw the kid in a cage and go eat lobster and brag about it. And that kid will have a criminal record for the rest of their life. Not a good idea. What I preach and teach is gardening. You already know that. This time of year though, you might think, well, very little gardening can be done. It's more of a harvest time. But many gardens and many yards have gardens in them that people get tired of even doing anything with them. With permission, you could go in that yard, collect tomatoes or all sorts of vegetables and fruits for free, just to clean out their yard within reason. This gourd, for example, when cut by a hacksaw, you can clean them out. This makes a great little candle. I've seen these at uh, some of the craft shows go for ten dollars with just a candle in it ten dollar bill all of a sudden this might be worth doing but it gets even better than that what's inside the gourd is of course gourd seed right yeah gourd seed hundred and a hundred and twenty seeds in that and of that hundred and twenty seeds each one of those seeds has a potential of growing about twelve gourds so that 120 seeds, if planted next year along the creeks and rivers, because you probably don't have that much land to utilize, but wherever you could plant it, the potential, maximum potential, could be somewhere around $1,400. From nothing, a single gourd, by the end of the next year, $1,400, with no investment. Things to be thinking about. Another thing, though, in the fall is cutting wood. With leather gloves and a new blade, I've seen some of the young people, junior high age, cut firewood. You know, a pickup load of firewood can run almost a $100 bill now. $100, and they can cut one in a day. A day's work, $100 for a young person. That is illegal to work in most places. Work for himself, though, is an option. You bet. I had a couple of kids years ago come up to my place. There was snow on the ground. They said, is there anything we can do for you? Clean your sidewalks, driveways or something? And I said, I'll tell you what. You got any snow shovels? No, they didn't. And I said, I'll tell you what. I've got a couple of snow shovels. I'll give them to you for the use for the entire day. All you have to do is clean my driveway and sidewalks for me. They agreed and they cleaned them. And then they went out for the day. They came back at the end of the day, gave me my two shovels back and they had made $120. They then went out and bought their own shovels. But needless to say, I got them started in a business. They didn't have to commit a crime and they didn't have to beg. Help people all you can, especially the young ones. Find work instead of breaking the law or begging. There's all sorts of things you can do from growing gourds or growing all kinds of food, medicine, you can even grow weapons. Rate this film and help the children not to have to be beggars or stealers.